July 25, 1994. Prissy Daniels, Gerald Fox, and Jeff Hawks entered work. All bursts of laughter. Jeff had told a dirty joke on the way in, and Gerald had commented on, wouldn't Jasper glower at that one? Prissy went to her desk and noticed the letter was gone that she had forgotten to put in Jasper's office before she left on Friday. Seeing this, she warned, better pipe down, you guys, the boss is back. Just our luck, and when we were enjoying his absence, whispered Jeff. Gerald, not believing Prissy, asked, how do you know he's back? I didn't see his car in the yard because I put a letter to him on my desk Friday and it's not here, Prissy defended. Well, he's not in his office. He must be still asleep. Too much Bible reading yesterday, quipped Gerald. They all chuckled over Gerald's sarcasm and went about their daily duties. But as the day wore on and still Jasper did not come downstairs, Prissy began to wonder if something was wrong. At two o'clock, she turned to Jeff and asked, Do you think we should check on him? No, maybe he was one on one of his drinking sprees and is sleeping it off. But he's never done that before. The time I found him drunk on the floor, you'd never have known it the next morning. He was on time as usual. Don't worry. It was only a matter of time until he couldn't keep that facade up. Don't you agree, Gerald? Gerald nodded, and they all went back to work. But at five o'clock, Prissy insisted that one of them go up and see if Jasper was okay. Gerald insisted that Jeff go up, as he felt Jasper had never treated him the same since he had tried to get Jasper to pay him for work done on Sunday, even though he knew that work had not been like getting an ox out of the, out of the pit. Jeff teased him about being a coward, but agreed to enter the lion's den by himself. Jeff went upstairs, calling out Jasper's name, hoping it would wake him up. When that didn't work, he knocked loudly on his door, but, it, but to no avail. So he slowly opened the door, and when he saw Jasper on the bed, he yelled, Gerald, Prissy, call the police. Jasper shot himself. The police arrived and the coroner and asked all the usual questions, which none of them could answer. But when the press arrived, Prissy exclaimed, who called the press? Jasper wouldn't like that. Off which Jess, of which Jeff reminded her, how is he going to care what the press does in his does to his reputation now? He used them to try and brainwash others into his beliefs through those letters to the editor. Now it's their turn to show the world what kind of man he truly was. A hypocrite. When all was quiet once again, and it began to dawn on Prissy that she was now out of a job, she asked, What are we going to do now? Well, we'd better call Jasper's lawyer, Frank Ferdinand, Gerald suggested. Yeah, I wonder to whom Jasper willed his estate. I know it wasn't to me, Jeff sighed.